Maxi, great to see you again. Los artistas, los artistas is coming out tomorrow. How do you feel about the show? Because it's so good. I watched the first episode and loved it. Well, Michael, very happy, very happy and very nervous at the same time because for me it's a very important character. It's my first uh, main one in, uh, in a TV series and I'm very excited. And hopefully we are doing a second season if uh, the people like it. Well, I think the, I think you're going to because this one just pulls you in from the first episode. I'm putting it out there right now. But you've had such a great year already. With Volvera Caer, that was really good. You got this series now. What is 2023 seems to be Maxi's year. How does it feel that everything's starting to come together? Well, it's true that it's, it's been uh, a very good year for me because we released also uh, another TV show that I made for another platform. Mm -hmm. And it's going so well too. Mm -hmm. But I don't think, I don't think, I mean, I always, I always try to be a better uh, version of myself. And this year for me, it's uh, a consequence of the last year. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm just taking advantage for it. You know, I, releasing a TV show nowadays is very difficult with all the options that you have in other platforms. Mm -hmm. And the, the option for you when, when someone trusts you uh, with, with, uh, with your work and being in another production as a main character it's a it's a very thing to to be happy for yeah and between you and Jimena you have such great chemistry on screen how was it working with her and to be able to develop these characters well at the beginning uh, for us it would be uh, a lie if I tell you that it was very easy Mm -hmm. during the rehearsals because we we had a lot of in common the, the the way that we see the characters the way that we approach to the to the main problems that we have to solve with the relationship uh, um, between them and the the other characters that appear in the during the the season mm -hmm. and we had uh, a few um movies in mind that uh, it helped a lot to maintain the essence of, mm -hmm. of that uh, movies and uh, TV shows like for example Catch Me You Can or uh, Thomas Crown Affair mm -hmm. and it helps a lot to to keep in mind that yeah exactly and that's the one thing I wanted to ask you. now with all these streaming platforms we're seeing not just Spanish speaking Latinos, you're seeing people from all over the world, from different cultures and different languages, watching programs like yours. How awesome is it to see that now that it's crossing over different barriers and these shows are reaching out more people? Yeah, as you said, it's, it's an opportunity to cross barriers. You know, we, we can explain or tell a story from uh, something that occurred local mm -hmm. uh, to global, you know, so it's a big opportunity to us, uh, for us to, to develop uh, these kind of stories that it would be understand in other countries. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because like my Spanish isn't that great. As you know, when, we, when I interviewed you for Argentina <laughs> eight, uh, earlier this year at the Oscar premiere, uh -huh. the Oscar party, so it's like I'm talking to people and they're like finding your work and they love your work who are who have never spoke Spanish at all, who are starting to learn the language. And I think people these shows are really expanding the culture. Yeah, totally, totally. We, we for example, we experienced that with uh, uh, Volver a Caer. I hear from people from L.A. Uh, that they show the, the show totally in Spanish and mm -hmm. uh, with captions and and they love it. Yeah, exactly. And Los Artistas is going to be another one that's going to be like that as well, because <laughs> it just the pacing of the show is so good. Um, when you first got the script, like, did you know automatically, like, I have to play Iago? Yeah, for sure. I, th at the first moment, I thought this guy is uh, 
is a very opportunity to me because I, I've never, I never have the option, the opportunity before for make a, a, such a nice guy. Like he's not pretending the whole time, you know? You can, you can tell that he's going through a very difficult time with uh, his family, with his work. He's uh, about lose his job and his own job because he has his um, little shop of um, uh, all things, mm -hmm. and antique, antique, antique things. I, th I think it says. Yes. And, and yeah, I realized at the beginning that at the first time that uh, it was a big opportunity for me. Yeah, and and I think this is gonna it, it continue that launch, continue that forward momentum because the show is so good. Maxi, thank you so much for talking with us. We really appreciate it. And we're looking forward to tomorrow when the show is released on VIX. Yeah, the seventh. The seventh. Exactly. The seventh, the, the, the whole season, the 10 episodes mm -hmm. are going to be released. And yeah, I can guarantee you because I, I saw all of them that it's getting better with uh, number two or the third episode. And, you know, the next ones are even better. Exactly. I agree with you completely. Maxi, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Michael.